Let's talk about the state of Washington, home to the city of Seattle, also known as the Coffee City. Seattle is famous for Starbucks and overall coffee culture. No list of coffee cities would be complete without including the city that launched the world's largest coffee chain. Even though Seattle is known globally for Starbucks, many locals prefer the independent spots that feature local art on the walls and fair trade coffee in their cups. Seattle is regarded as a world center for coffee roasting and coffee supply chain management. Related to this, many of the city's inhabitants are coffee enthusiasts. Here you can visit the first Starbucks store, commonly known as the original Starbucks. It was established in 1971 at Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle in the U.S. state of Washington. The store has kept its early appearance over time and is subject to design guideline due to its historic significance. While you are having a cup of the best coffee in the USA, you can take a look to the wonderful Space Needle. Considered to be an icon of the city in the Pacific Northwest, it has been designated a Seattle landmark. Located in the Lower Queen Anne neighborhood, it was built in the Seattle Center for the 1962 World's Fair, which drew over 2.3 million visitors. General Space Needle tickets range in price from $24.50 to $37.50, depending on age, when you buy, and whether you are buying tickets for seniors or children. Tickets are available online, at the Space Needle itself, and as part of a few different package deals if you're looking to get more bang for your buck. Visiting the Space Needle is totally worth it, especially if you have a nice day for great views of the mountains. We would recommend planning for at least two hours, possibly longer. You won't want to be rushed once you get to the top, and you'll want to save time for the VR experience. The best time to visit is before 11 a.m. or after 7 p.m. when it's less crowded. The state of Washington is not only about coffee and spectacular architecture. Nicknamed the Evergreen State, Washington is packed with abundant evergreen forests. About 22 million acres of forest cover the total land area of 43 million acres, almost evenly divided between east and west of the Cascade Crest. Most forest land in Washington is productive timberland, most of it occurring in the Okanogan Highlands, Northern Cascades, Washington Coast Range, and Western Cascades. Washington isn't called the Evergreen State for nothing. The state is filled with greenery from ferns on the forest floors to towering trees. Beyond providing natural beauty galore, Washington State's forests are perfect places for hiking, camping, or photography, or simply find a place to sit and connect with nature among the trees. One of the most famous forests in the state of Washington is the Olympic National Park Rainforest. This park is likely to be one of the wettest places in the continental U.S. Wandering these forests might just make you feel like you're in a fairy tale with their towering old growth trees, lush ferns on the forest floor, and moss literally hanging from the tree branches. The best time of year for sightseeing in Olympic National Park is spring through fall. This time of year is ideal because the rainforest can experience up to 50 inches of rain in the winter, and by late spring, the landscape is lush and vibrant with life. Visitors to the park can kayak, sail, swim, or enjoy the Lake Crescent's beauty from numerous picnic areas and scenic viewpoints. And before your visit to the state of Washington is over, you should try some of the best apples in the country. Washington State continues to be the largest producer of organic apples, producing 806 million pounds with an estimated crop value of $433 million. Washington is the nation's top apple producing state, so it is appropriate that the apple was named a state symbol in 1989, the centennial year. A favorite fruit around the world, there are seven principal varieties of apples grown in Washington. We have arrived to the end of our video. Perhaps you would like to share some additional information on this topic. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next one.